Hi, it's Kevin here again. Let's see if I can show you how to delete the title, the author, the date and time and comments from your pages in WordPress. Uh, here on the demo site we've got uh, the title, by, the time and the comments here. Let's see if we can get rid of this. This, by the way, will apply to all your static pages and when I first did this I was terrified. But let's uh, see if I can just take you through this just step by step. OK, first thing we need to do is to log into the admin. And then down here on the left, under Appearance, go to Editor. Now we're going to be editing the page template, so on the right hand side here, Page Template, click that. Now this is very important and something I always do because, uh, like I said, it terrified me when I first did this, but you must copy this page template code and save it on your computer. So we'll do that, right click, select all, we'll copy that, I'm going to save that in notepad, so that's safe. Now if I mess up I can always paste that back in there and we will get the site back, thankfully. But we're not going to mess up, you're going to do this right first time. OK, here we go. First things first, to get rid of the title, you need to find this H2 code here, covering all this here, the permalink, PHP, the title. It's header 2 in the panorama theme that I've got here. And we just delete that. And the next one is the authors, the date and the time. And that's just a little bit low on here. The PHP here, author, posts link, and the time, date, time format. Cover all this here. All the way up to there. I don't know whether you can actually get rid of the div there. I'm not that brilliant on code, but I just know that this is what you do. So we'll delete that as well. Now the next one we want to get rid of is the com comments template. And that's a little bit lower down on here. You'll be able to find all these easy enough. Here we go, the comments template. And we'll just delete that. Now hopefully when we go back to the site, the pages won't show any of those things. So let's see. Here we go. Back to the site. Let's reload, refresh this page. Now we'll go to one of the pages, the home page, I don't know, we'll sort that out in a minute, but if we go to one of the pages, made an error here, the first thing you must do, after you've deleted all those things, we go back again to the uh, editor appearance, a bit slow today, here we go, you update the file, that will probably help now, and let's go back to the site again, refresh the page, and there it's gone. You've got a blank page now. HTML page, you can treat it like a normal website. And that's the job done. Now all we need to do is to create a home page so that when we click on home, we don't get to this page. So let's go and do that. We'll go back into admin again. And under pages here, we're going to add a new page. You can call it what you like. The heading's not going to show up, but it will give you a permalink. I'll just put X's in here now. Scroll down here. Now the exclude pages. That's the plugin that we talked about before, which we did. We uploaded that. And we don't want to include this page in the user menus. So we get rid of that. And across here under discussion, allow comments. I'll just take that off. I don't actually know whether that uh, it shouldn't come up anyway, but I'll take it off. go and publish this page right now the next thing we need to do is to go across to uh, under settings go to reading click on that 
Another reading settings here, the front page displays. We don't want the latest post, we want to change it to a static page, the page that we just created. So highlight that box, and the front page here, select, I called it, all the X's, but uh, whatever you want to call it. Put a keyword in there if you like. Click on that, and then down here, make sure we save it this time. Save changes. Now when we go back to the site, hopefully, when we click on this home page again, or refresh, we get our blank page for our home page. And that is basically that. All you need to do from then is to um, put in your own HTML in the pages, you can edit your pages, put your images in your pictures, set it up how you want to do. And there you've got a site now that is um, no, nothing on it there. You decide what you want on each page. I hope that's helped, and uh, I'll speak to you again another time.